Hey, it's Camille. Um, oh my gosh, hang on. Can you see that? It's a space needle. Uh, I'm on my way to Trader Joe's and I'm gonna do a haul video um, for some reason because I'm weird. Uh, it's a, such a gorgeous morning in Seattle. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So, anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in and I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and I'll see you in a few minutes <sighs> once I conquer these hills all right I just have to show you guys what I have to contend with every time I go to Trader Joe's I mean So I just got back from Trader Joe's and I've got a whole bag of yummy goodies to share with you. Um, I don't subscribe to a food doctrine currently. What I mean by that is that I wouldn't label myself as paleo or vegan or vegetarian or whatever it may be. Um, the closest thing I can come to that is maybe, like, clean eating. Um, and I don't subscribe to any of those because I'm all of them and none of them at the same time. Depending on the day, I might eat vegan one day. Um, I was a vegetarian or pescatarian, if you want to say it that way, um, for 14 years. And with work and traveling and my goals and all of that I decided recently to start adding in chicken because it's easier to travel with and to prep ahead of time um so yeah but some days I eat completely vegan it just depends I get why people want to eat a certain way and within certain boundaries I think sometimes it's more comfortable to eat that way because you can cut out foods and um you know you have foods here that are that you eat and then the foods that you don't eat and I think sometimes that rigidity um is a little easier if you're trying to find your way I am at a place where I feel comfortable with what I'm eating and um I do my best and just try to keep it as clean as possible so that is going to reflect in this grocery haul so we'll get into it um okay I'll start, I'll start with produce first, um, and these are just, this is, these are not all of my groceries by any means, um, this is just kind of like the essential clean eating foods that I get at Trader Joe's. Um, okay, so we've got bananas, I use these in my uh, post-workout smoothies, usually um, they mix up really well in the blender with protein powder, so essential bananas. I've got some raspberries here. I put them in my oats in the morning. Um, I like to put them in when I cook the oats. It kind of, I don't know, it like flavors them more than if you just, I mean, top them at the end. Sometimes I'll do that too, but I just, I love mixing them in when you're actually cooking the oats. Um, if any of you ate, I don't know who makes it but there's like a strawberries and cream oatmeal. If any of you had that in your childhood, that's kind of what it tastes like, so that's why I like it. Um, next up is the Persian cucumbers. I love these for snacking. They're super easy to cut up and throw into salads. Um, when I just need something crunchy or I want that like feeling of eating, <laughs> um, want a snack, then these are a great option. The butternut squash, pretty self-explanatory. Carbs, good. More carbs, okay, sweet potatoes. I'm obsessed with these. Thank you, Trader Joe's. $1.79 for all of these lovely potatoes. These are fantastic if you're doing any sort of meal prepping or um, like bodybuilding competition sort of thing. They are all 
in the like 100 to 200 gram ish range as far as weight goes so i will just throw one of these in my bag uh, you don't even have to cook it beforehand it's so easy um just poke some holes in there with a fork heat it up in the microwave for a minute or two um, until it's nice and mushy and you have your pre prepped pre prepped carbs right here um yeah so i mean this is like what a week and a half's worth of not a week and a half's worth you know what i mean it's carbs for a lot of meals it's great Super easy. Thanks. TJ's. Um, next are the or organic carrots of many colors. You're so silly. Trader Joe's, you're so silly. Um, anyways, I think these are a seasonal item. They were really cheap. Um, and I'll just roast them up with some beets and mix it up with my carbs. Um, yeah, like them. Tricolored carrots. Uh, so Trader Joe's produce section gets a lot of flack for using a lot of plastic in their packaging and all of the pre-cut veggies. Um, that being said, I have a rule. If I can cut it myself easily <laughs> and quickly, then I won't buy it pre-cut. So like uh, an onion, I can cut myself pretty easily. Garlic, I can chop up quickly and I would rather buy it whole and then chop it up myself. But there are some exceptions to that. Um, the next two items will explain why I'm talking about this. So we've got the Healthy 8 Chopped Veggie Mix. The time that it would take me to chop up eight different kinds of vegetables, it, it's, it's just, it's not worth more than $3 to me. So I would gladly pay $3 and get these lovely pre-chopped veggies um, that are so easy to throw in a salad. Just It's just so easy and convenient. And um, that outweighs the cons, in my opinion. So I love these. Um, they add great crunch to a salad if you want to substitute for croutons. Um, and if you, if you love, you know, something crunchy in your salad, this is perfect. It's also good, uh, for stir fries as well. Love, um, the cruciferous crunch is another exception to my rule. Uh, let's see, what do we have in here? Kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. It's delicious. I love these for stir fries. I will um, put this and some pre-made rice. I usually have uh, some pre-made rice prepped in the fridge and um, a protein, so maybe like tuna or fish or whatever, and saute it up and it makes a really, really nice, super easy stir fry. Just season the crap out of it. Okay, um, more veggies. We'll just breeze through these. Spinach and more spinach. Uh, we go through this so quickly, so I get a lot of it. Kale and more kale. It's good stuff, and it's really reasonably priced at Trader Joe's. Um, all right, some fun stuff here. The pineapple salsa. Love. I put this on my eggs in the morning, um, and sometimes I'll use it as a dressing for my salads. Yummy. They had a harvest salsa recently, and they didn't have it today. So I think it was a seasonal thing, and I think it's I'm gonna have to wait until next year, I guess. But it was delicious. If you can track that down, go for it. Hoard it. It's amazing. Um, unsweetened applesauce. I don't eat a lot of applesauce, but I use it um, every once in a while. Oh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Uh, I use it for baking sometimes, um, if I'm having cravings for sweet things, I'll just like eat a spoonful of this. Uh, it's really simple. So yeah, I just like to have it on hand. It's good stuff. What else? Oh, okay. This is my kryptonite. If you are trying to sabotage me. <laughs> I hope you're not, but um, if you really want to know what my weakness is, oh my god, 
I have to hide these. I mean, I know where they are because I'm the one who hides them, but I have to put these away, like high, to where it is an effort to get to them because I love them, I'm obsessed with them. Raw cashews are life. Oh, oh I love these so much. Um, delicious. I also got some raw sliced almonds. Um, these are great to throw on your oats or your salads. Um, I love having these on hand. So this fun little area full of treats and dried fruits and nuts and yummy things is complicated sometimes. Um, I try to avoid anything seasoned. I'm not against putting salt on your nuts or whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I would rather do it myself. Um, I just, any sort of added thing, I would rather add it myself um, afterwards and like have that choice. So I always look at the back of the packaging for all of the nuts and the dried fruit products and just make sure it's one ingredient. So this just says almonds. That's all I need. I just want the almonds. I don't want any other stuff in there. So um, yeah, check the packaging. Sometimes you think you're getting one thing and it, you know it's got a bunch of other stuff in there. Same with the fruit. Um, I love their prunes. Normally they have prunes without the potassium sorbet, but they were out of them. So whatever. I just got the, the other ones with the preservative. It's hopefully not going to kill me, but, um, I really like these. What I like to do, Jesus, what I like to do is get a bunch of stuff, um, nuts and seeds and dried fruits from Trader Joe's. Oh yeah. These, mmm, mmm. Dried Bing cherries, yeah. These are fantastic. Absolutely nothing added. Look for that on the package. Anyways, where was I going with that? I like to get the pre-packaged um, stuff and then make my own trail mix. So this is my favorite thing if I'm flying or traveling or just want snacks around. I will um, measure it all out, mix it all together and then portion it out into like 100 to 150 calorie portions, which are pretty small. Um, but yeah, you just weigh it all out, add up all of the macros and calories and all that good stuff, and then divide it by how many portions you have in order to get the right amount. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but you know, it's gonna be ballpark, like in the range. Um, oh, I forgot, I also have shredded coconut Shredded coconut, it's not here though, it's somewhere else. But their shredded coconut, the plain unsweetened shredded coconut is really delicious. Um, and let's see some other, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, wait. Um, just gonna be honest, I'm an imperfect human. What can I say? I love me some Questies. I love me some Questies. I don't care. I love Questies and I don't care who knows. That's right. So I just had to get some. Um, some other things that I already had but I consider staples. Um, so I just want to show you really quick. Are the Mahi Mahi Burgers. These are my emergency protein <laughs> uh, things I guess. Um, if I don't have any protein prepped somehow. If I'm in a hurry, um, if I just don't feel like cooking, but I need to hit my protein macros, um, these are super easy. They take like three or four minutes to cook all the way through. Um, so I just like to have them in the freezer just in case. Uh, some raw sunflower seeds. Um, so you can see I'm just blowing through. Um, oh, and they're frozen blueberries and they're frozen mango chunks. These are my like dessert foods. I love snacking on frozen berries if I get like sugar cravings. Um, and I love, I love frozen mango. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's my favorite snack in the entire world. So, um, yeah, I always have these things on hand. Um, 
the frozen blueberries are good for protein goop, protein pudding, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you just mix up some water with your protein powder and then throw in the frozen blueberries to make it nice and chunky. Um, oh, uh, Cara Cory Fit, Fit Life, if you follow her on YouTube, you'll see she uses these in her sludge. Her um, She has like different protein sludge, whatever you want to call it, but it's delicious. Also, the quinoa, they have super reasonably priced quinoa. Um, so I usually have the white and the red on hand. And finally, their frozen haricot vert. Haricot vert. Haricot vert. Mm. Yeah, my French needs work, but that's okay. Um, they're frozen green, French green beans. So yeah, that was my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear what your favorite clean eating treats are from Trader Joe's or maybe your not so clean treats. Um, you know, I don't discriminate. So just let me know. Um, I'd love to hear about it and I hope you have a phenomenal day.